Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to add a render background in Clo. There are three super easy ways to do this, and I'll walk you through all of them step by step. Let's get started. First, you can add a backdrop screen. In the Tuda window, you can create a simple backdrop screen to place behind your avatar. Start by drawing a rectangle to the size you want. Just make sure it's big enough to cover the background. Once it's ready, position it neatly behind your avatar. Now, let's add an image to the screen. To do this, apply a texture to the rectangle. Click the plus button and choose the image you want. Double-click to load it. I have an AI-generated image. Once the image is applied, adjust its scale under the texture options to fit the screen. Use pins to keep it in place so it doesn't move around. If you want the backdrop to extend down to the floor, copy the top rectangle, then rotate it flat to align with the floor, and sew them together. Then duplicate the fabric, drag and drop it into place, and adjust the scale to make it look more natural. Finally, you can move your avatar backward in the scene if needed. and render the result. Don't forget to adjust the lighting to match your vibe. And that's it for the first method. Second, adding a 3D scene. The second method is adding a 3D object scene directly into the 3D window. Clo has plenty of scene options. You can also download free or paid ones from the Clo website. Once you've found a scene you like, download it, and double-click to open.
and make sure to choose the Add option when importing. The best part? These are actual 3D objects, so you can tweak the camera angles and lighting in the render view to get the perfect shot. The third method is adding an HDR eye scene. The third way is by using an HDR eye scene, which is great for realistic lighting. HDR eye stands for High Dynamic Range Image, and it's amazing for rendering. Just a heads up, this only works in the render view. There are tons of free HDR eye images online, like on HDR eye Haven. Download one you like, and let's set it up. Before applying it, Make sure to set your render image size large enough for a high quality look. Match the render window size to fit your screen. Switch to landscape view if you want a wider frame. Also, make sure the transparency option is turned off, so the background displays properly. To adjust the size of your avatar, use the mouse scroll in the 2D window. To adjust the HDRI image size, scroll your mouse in the 3D window. Once you're ready, select the background texture and open your HDRI scene. Boom, it's applied just like that. From here, adjust the size and position to match your avatar with the background. Set your lighting to make it pop and you're all set. That's it for today's tutorial, everyone. I hope this helps you create stunning render backgrounds in Clo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!